Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we've got something quite exciting today. I'm trying to hide the uh, the label up here, which has got my address on. But we've got something quite exciting, a big old box that's arrived. We are about to open this up and take a look inside. So let's do that right now. Uh, and we should hopefully find something quite fun. Um, and something that is quite big on the, on the calendar. Let's open this up this way. Snap these open this way. I apologise. We've we've gone through some transitions on the channel, uh, early days, and I'm still trying to figure out the best way to record things. Now, interestingly, I've tried a number of things. I had a little light box, which is a box maybe this big but equally as as high, um, that that had light shining down so we could get good light on the uh, on the cards. That didn't really work. Uh, I got some wood, I painted it, I stuck it together uh, and tried to use that kind of as a backdrop. Didn't really work either. And then I thought to myself, why are you such an idiot? You have a gaming table, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but basically a gaming table is a table with a recess. So this bit, this box is actually lower than the tabletop. The tabletop comes off and you can play board games in it. Uh, and we've got that. And I was like, well, why the heck are you not using that? So that's what we're doing today. So we'll see how it goes with this. Um, let's take this out of here and have a little look at what we have inside. That's right, we have the official licensed product Panini sticker book collection from FIFA. And in it first, we've got the collector's tin. 10 packets of 50 stickers, sorry, 10 packets, 50 stickers in total at nine pounds. 99. Let's put that over here. We also have this 15 packets, £12.99, the official uh, license sticker collection. As you can see, 667, 670 stickers to collect. We then have this, the official Panini sticker book, 100 packets to open of stickers here. And then finally, we should have, let's just get this out here, move this out of the way uh, and take a little look at what we have here. Is there a, a thing to pull off? There is. Let's rip that off. Very nice. Um, there we go. And in here we have the FIFA Qatar 2022 official World Cup hardback sticker book and this is something new to me I used to collect stickers many many years ago I haven't I haven't had a hardback sticker book I'm excited by this let's just have a look at the back you can see the logo on the back there hopefully the light isn't too bad uh, and, and again I apologize if the audio is a little bit uh, a little bit dodgy uh, I'm waiting for a lapel mic to come in so hopefully that should come in and we'll be able to improve everything all at once um, but I wanted to get this out to you so you could have a little look at this um, because obviously these are recently released and uh, yeah I think we're we're good to take a little look so let's open this up uh, and see what we've got inside we've got the, uh, the logo there and then we go into a roll of honor as to how many uh, how many World Cups people have won and when uh, and then we start to see the uh, the stickers and where they go we've got some uh, double sticker collections here. Also tells us a little bit about the cards, dates of birth, uh, and the national team debut, and then what position they play. Might be a little bit difficult to pick up, but um, okay, what's next? We then go into details about the stadiums, and then we've got kind of a, a, a schedule. I like that, that's pretty nice. And we go into some adverts, obviously. Would be right without having some adverts, eh? And then we get into the pages for the teams, and I really like the layouts of these being on two pages, and I like the backgrounds, which look like they're sort of stickers or flags uh, texture. Really nice. And then these little sections here about the uh, the group, and these sections over here about the road to the World Cup. We won't go through every page of this, but as you can see, all of these pages are made up of um, of all of the teams. Let's keep going, and then we will get to, hopefully, I say I won't go through every page, and then I flick through pretty much every page. Then we get to the FIFA Museum, the timeline of the FIFA World Cup, so it's got some details and pictures already in here, but obviously some stickers in, 
uh, as well. I wonder how difficult the stickers are going to be able to be stuck in here with the fact that this is a hardback. So I wonder if it makes it a little bit tougher, but there we go. We can see this FIFA Museum page. Then we get into the road to Qatar 2022 uh, and uh, who played when and where. And then we have some World Cup records over here. Uh, the oldest hat trick, the oldest hat trick scorer was Cristiano Ronaldo with um, in 2018. There you go. Something you didn't know, right? And then we've got the the back cover here. So this is another collection that we've got on the go. We'll put this over here because I want to keep it in shot and I want you guys to see it. Uh, what are we going to open? Let's open um, this little tin. I think this feels like a this feels like a good thing to, to sink our teeth into. There's a number of packs. We can have a little look at it, see what we've got. And then we'll open some more stickers. We probably won't do a huge amount early on. We'll do it as it starts to get closer to the, uh, the final. But uh, let's take these out of here. Let's just put the, the lid back on here and get this over here in shot. And then let's take a look at the stickers, shall we? So we can see the packets here. It's sort of a, a shiny paper, which is nice. A little bit better for the environment. Um, and then it's just uh, the, the trademarks and all the rest of those things. On the back, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You may just be able to pick it up, but there is also some holographic sort of qualities on the sticker packet, which I quite like. Let's put this over here and let's uh, let's get some of these open, shall we? We'll see how we're going to get on. Let's. Uh, open this up they're a little bit tough to get into actually just because this the sticker we obviously don't want to damage the stickers but the stickiness of the packet is a little bit tough let's have a look I feel like either I've got bigger or these stickers have got smaller right, but we'll go through these I apologize for the pronunciations of some of these names which when I do attempt them I will absolutely butcher we've got Hados Al Hados here we've got uh, Robert Sanchez El Cabi, and then we've got Saïs over here from, from Morocco. Uh, so we'll put these over here. We'll see if we can keep going, see if we get some shinies uh, or any sort of special badges. That would be quite nice to see if what, what they look like and be able to show you those. As I say, we probably won't open, uh, we've got all these packs, we probably won't open all of them too quickly. Uh, we'll save them for once the World Cup gets underway. Frankie de Jong over here. Uh, Diallo for Senegal. It'd be nice if these were the right way, right, right way round. Uh, there's Tyler Adams, Widmere. Just to get this a little bit closer so you can see some of the quality over here. It looks pretty good, I have to say. And then Felipe Coutinho. There we go. Okay, when I say these stickers have got smaller, I'm pretty sure of that. You see the number on the uh, on the back of the sticker obviously relates to the page that we will be sticking to. Nothing shiny or surprising or exciting going on yet. Hopefully we can change that fairly soon. Let's get into another packet over here. I'm looking forward to seeing how this, uh, this collection goes. There's Joe Morrell. Jaziri and Daniel Wass. Again, nothing too exciting. We're almost halfway in and no shinies. Disappointing so far, right? Let's keep going. What's next? So we have Borges. Uh, Juan Kim for Korea over here. Maratta, and as you can see, high weight. Um, debut and date of birth, as we were saying earlier, and the position that they play. There we go. Oh, something is shiny behind Edison Cavani. What is it? It's the Argentinian team. 18, sorry, 1978. There it is. Look at that. Very nice. Okay. Uh, what's next? Next pack. Oh, there's something shiny in this one as well. Uh, I do wonder how long a collection like this would take. I don't know how many sticker collections I've actually managed to finish. That would be interesting to know. Uh, Anthony K for Canada here. Uh, Hassan Al -Tam Tambakti. And then we've got, what this, is this the Denmark badge? I should have got that from the Dansk, right? Okay, 
Very nice. Kudis. Gru Gruezo, maybe. From Ecuador, okay. I do also like that we're gonna see these players and we're gonna know a little bit more about them or at least know who some of the squads uh, actually contain for the World Cup. I'm looking forward to looking forward to that. It's nice that we've got a couple of shinies. Vida, who I feel like has been around forever. Pembe. Aaron Ramsey. And Diogo Jota. Looking forward to having him back for Liverpool. This is the uh, the last four packs we have here. Let's keep going. You'll have to tell me how you think the setup's gone, if it's any better. Again, I apologise a little bit for the audio. I'm hoping we can make that better with the with the microphone, but Eden Hazard. We have Ito. Cooper Menez. Cooper Menez. Not sure on that one. Uh, Christiansen, we know of him, obviously. And... Pasalic for Croatia over here. Croatia always seem to be at World Cups and always seem to, to do okay, right? And, and sorry, uh, World Cups and international tournaments. We have another shiny. Look at this, the Italy badge. At 90, sorry, team 1938. I do like the Panini sort of holographic around the outside. That's very nice. Then we have Kai Havertz. Uh, Piatek. Wang and Malin for Holland. Uh, what I might do is, is stick these in and then give you a kind of a, 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 a view of some of these stickers stuck in the book, just so you can see how they sit, how it looks to make a decision whether you want to go hardback or there is a softback version of this, so you're not tied into the hardback. I just thought the hardback was, was quite a nice collector's sort of item. Uh, chair? Maybe not chair. Uh, Moda for Poland. Uh, Pereira, Valen Valencia, and Andre Ayu for Ghana. And this is the last pack. Here it is. Let's get this opened. Um, let's crack this one open. Throw this over here. And we have Matthew Ryan for Australia. Rodri for Spain. Uh, Al Aladdin. Sadio Mane, once again, makes me a little bit sad. There he is. And Fabinho, which makes me happy. What a legend he is. Well, there we go. That is the sticker collection you can see here. They're, they're tiny in comparison to how big they used to be, right, the stickers. But we'll get these stuck in, and we'll show you what it looks like with some of the stickers. Obviously, we're not going to have a huge amount in there, but we'll show you what it looks like with some of the stickers stuck in so you can just see how it sits in the, uh, in the book. And I'll tell you how easy or hard it was for us to get those stuck in but there you go the Qatar 2020 sticker album from Panini it's available now uh, if you like this then please let me know if you're going to be doing the collection let me know how well or badly that collection is going and I'll be right back once we've stuck some stickers in so you can see how that looks okay so we are done we've officially stuck in all of our stickers what was it 50 I guess my mass isn't that bad, it must be 50. Uh, and I'm just gonna quickly, I guess, do a sort of montage of us flicking through this book so you can see some of the stickers stuck in. We didn't get anything on the front page. I'll stop talking in a second, but as we get into this, we'll show you some of the some of the pages where we've got some stickers stuck in. I won't go through, again, I don't think I'll go through every page, but you can see how well they kind of sit in the pages. Some of them were a little tough to stick in, just based on the, the crease of the, the book but um, as we do flick through here you can have a little look at, at the, the stickers we do have we've got three for Holland and you can see them all in one page looking pretty good nothing for England um, and then we've got some for the US and so on so I'll leave you with this as we flick through again I don't know how long this montage will go on of us flicking through but I just really wanted you to see uh, some of the some of the collections and obviously with the stickers uh, the shiny stickers stuck in as well looking really nice um, but uh, there you go this is the hardback book if you like the look of this it's available now uh, please go and check it out thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed this please uh, hit the like button subscribe to the channel 
uh, leave comments they all really really help us grow uh, and as a new channel that's that's really the goal right now is to is to grow to allow us to do more of these things so you know if you do if you do want to support the channel then it means a huge amount thank you so much for watching and i'll leave you with the with the rest of this book